All right, I think I can actually trust Sheldon to make decent weapons like the K-Pro or the Splattershot. Sheldon, don't talk to me or my kids Splatter Splattershot Junior ever again. So basically, every single Splatoon player has at least heard of the Brella. A lot of people love them and a lot of people hate them. Ahem, undercover Brella, ahem. Anyway, in this video, I'll be reviewing every single Brella. Also, I'm not going to be adding in the Hero Brella because it's just a reskin of the Splat Brella. Oh jeez, what did I get myself into? First up, we have the basic Splat Brella with the special of Inkstorm. Yeah, I know, Nogami is so funny with that joke. And you know what's even funnier? If you took the Brella up and look at an Inkstorm, it doesn't even stop it. I know, Nogami is so funny, right? Anyway, this weapon also has Sprinkler, which can easily help get paint coverage while you do something else in your life. Like, you know, just defend the tower for once in your life. Next up is the Sorella Brella. The Sorella Brella has auto bombs as its sub. What a way to give Inner Agent 3 flashbacks. What are they gonna do to the Sorella Bro in Splatoon 3? Make it so you can already squid roll or whatever, but 10 times over? No, God, me, please don't do that, I cry. Anyway, the Sorella Brella has none other than the best bomb launching special that is not broken in any way whatsoever. Splat Bomb Launcher. Like seriously, Splat Bombs are the best sub weapon. And I mean the best. This is obviously the best weapon I've ever played. Totally not just because of its special. Now we have the Tentabrella. With the sub of a useless Sweet Beacon and an okay special, we have probably one of the most memeiest, is that even a word? Brella. A lot of people only use this either because it, it'll 200 pump someone like a legendary pump in Fortnite. Not sorry for that reference. Or because it does get protection, but it literally takes seven years for it to open. Goody, are recording this video someone's zero month old baby turned seven. I'm telling the truth, I swear. Now we have the Tenta Sorella Brella, which has splash wall because for some reason Sheldon thinks you even need more protection when you have a freaking brick wall on your side. The Tenta Sorella Brella also has crawling bomb launcher. Mom, where's the shotgun? Now we have the last version of the Tenta Brella. Thank God. None other than the Tenta Camo Brella. The Tenta Camo Brella has Ink Mai, and what does this sub do again? Oh right, nothing! And it has one of the best specials in the game, which can break an Inkling's non-existent neck in one throw or hit. The Ultra Stamp, which just makes this pump shotgun, I mean Tenta Camo Brella, even better. This weapon really makes me want to go to Tilted Towers again. Wait, is this still recording? The Undercover Brella breaks, and breaks again, and again. Dear God, this joke is getting old now. Anyway, this amazingly cool weapon has Ink Mind, which still does nothing even after how many subs you put on, and Splashdown, which makes you literally LeBron James because, dear God, you can get some hype from it. As the name says, you can try to flank, but don't come crying when your brella breaks and you can't do anything about it. Now we have the Undercover Sorella Brella. You know I said the Undercover Brellas break a ton? But now Shodan gave you a baller, so that way when someone breaks it, you know have four things all break. Your sanity, your will, your baller, and your heart. The Undercover Sorella Brella also has Splat Bombs, which is once again one of the best subs ever, which makes this one of the best weapons ever, just because it is one sub. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Totally. Now we have the Undercover Sorella Brella. You know I said the Undercover Brella is break a ton? But now Shodan gave you a baller, so that way when someone breaks it, you now have four things all break. Your sanity, your will, your baller, and your heart. The Undercover Sorella Brella also has Splat Bombs, which is once again one of the best subs ever, which makes this one of the best weapons ever, just because of this one sub. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Totally. Last, but certainly least, we have the Kenta Undercover Brella, and um... This weapon blows. And there's another weapon class done. All the things said in this video was a joke, so please do not take this video seriously. Also, thank you all so much for the support on this series. What weapon class do you want to see next? Also, this video gets 5 likes, I'll play Dynamo for Inverted Motion for a video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. See you all in the next video. Bye guys!